visiting a beekeeper in Mansfield, New Jersey. This is a five-frame nucleus colony that we're going to leave uh, as a five-frame and set it uh, with more uh, boxes. Uh, some beekeepers have found that uh, having a five-frame set up instead of ten frames wide, the bees typically grow faster and, and produce a, a larger surplus of honey in a setup like this. Um, haven't found a huge difference in, in production this way, but uh, we try a lot of different things here. Okay, these are actually um, queen cells, and you can see the difference in sizes. This is what a queen actually hatches out of. So when the worker bees make a queen, this is the cell that would be inside the hive, and this is how uh, they look. These are various sizes of queen cells. So they are different than a normal worker bee cell. So you know by looking in your hive, when you have a queen cell being made. My name is Hugh Prybell from Birds and Bees Farm. Uh, we're a small family owned uh, apiary here in Columbus. And just to show you how we extract, we'll basically take an, uh, a scratcher, open up the cells of the uh, comb. Once those cells are opened up, both sides, they're inserted into a 20 frame radial extractor. They're inserted like the spokes of a wheel, radially. Uh, then spun out. What we end up with is uh, a lot of wax cappings, a lot of wax cappings that we clean off and melt down to make candles. Um, let's see if I have some wax candles here. We'll melt the wax down into uh, different ornaments. And, uh, so we get pollen from our bees, we get uh, wax for ornaments, we get of course honey. Uh, more importantly, we get pollination for our crops.